his holy presence. For Revelation 21 verse 3 declared, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. I greet you on this glorious Sunday morning in the most awesome and magnificent name of Jehovah Shaman. For his presence is always with us. In the past several months, our world has turned upside down. But God's word and his promises never change. No matter what tomorrow may bring, we have a sure foundation of faith that lasts for eternity. So we stand on his promises. Let us declare that 2021 will be our greatest year with God ever. Expect him to do exceedingly and abundantly more this year in you, with you, and through you. Amen? Amen. And it's always such a pleasure to acknowledge all of our wonderful and faithful members of this prophetic ministry. We are excited and elated that you have stayed connected. Continue to join us from your home or wherever you are to worship Jesus Christ, the Anointed One. The presence of each and every one of you have been missed. But I know that the Lord will bless us in his timing to be able to fellowship with each other in unity and the sing and sing a purpose to offer a praise and honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I would like to take this opportunity also to extend a warm welcome to all of our wonderful friends in Christ who are also fellowshipping with us around the world. We thank you for joining us today. We, Victory Will Impact Ministry family, welcome your desire to receive God's love and to feel his presence near. For you are so special to the Lord and special to us too. For your life has significance and there is a purpose in what you do. So we thank you. We thank God for his mighty blessings and his goodness over your lives. If you are being blessed by today's message or our previous messages, please send us a comment on Facebook or email. We would like to hear your feedback as valued viewers and members. Please visit our website www.vwinvi ctory.com and subscribe to, to follow us on YouTube channel and connect with us each week. Again, thank you for tuning in and God bless you. The word of God tells us we should give honor to whom honor is due. So to God, we give thanks for his rare jewel, our senior pastor, Reverend Dr. William Lee. And it's also a great privilege to acknowledge all of our in-house pastors and ministers, Pastor Sharon Folks Abraham and Minister Peter Abrahams, Pastor Guy Hebert and Elder Lois Hebert, Pastor Alicia Wright DeCosta and Junior DeCosta, Pastor Steve Mohammed and Julie Mohammed, Missionary Joyce Dwyer, Minister Norma Lee, Evangelist Clark Williams and Deaconess Dawn Williams, Elders, deacons and deaconesses, we acknowledge you this morning and we thank you for your labor of love and commitment to this vibrant ministry. Galatians 6, 9 declares, and let not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And today's message title, 2021, and it's ministered by Pastor Pastor Sharon Folks Abrahams, we pray that today's message will bless us, equip us, motivate us, and we learn more about his majestic ways. And the new prophetic word for us for 2021 is crossing over. And the scriptural references are taken from Joshua chapter 1, 
verses 1 through 9, and Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. And as we cross over to 2021, we are going to experience new blessings, new favors, new visions, new opportunities, and new vision in the name of Jesus. And we would like to express our thanks and our gratitude to all to all for giving of your tithes and offerings. Please remember, our motto is people touching people. And our vision is to teach, to reach, and to mobilize others into the service of God. Your gift enable us to fulfill our vision to glorify God and to encourage people and to reach the community and to impact the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as we saw your seed into good ground, it would position us for a supernatural harvest. In the natural, the seed waits for the season. In the supernatural, your seed is waiting on your seed. So when you sow, it automatically becomes your season. So as we cross over into this new season, Get ready for what God has in store for you in this season. Contributions can be made through the following methods which are safe and secure. Via Eve transfer using email info at vwinvictory.com. PayPal. Giving can be done through this method 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Alternately, you can make a one-time substantial gift to Victory World Impact Ministries and mail to 3718 Kingston Road, Scarborough, Ontario, Canada, M1J3H3, or pre-authorized payment. Scheduled funds can be deducted from your account at any Canadian financial institution, please contact our church office at 416-282-1101. And all residents of Canada who will give will receive a charitable tax donation receipt for your gifts totaling $10 and above. And this is an extraordinary milestone in our ministry. Our 20th church anniversary is fast approaching. Our celebration starts March the 3rd to March the 7th. To God be the glory, great things he has done. So our 20th anniversary seed offering kickoff for March 2021 challenge. We need 20 people to give $5,000. 20 people to give $2,000, and 200 people to give $200. Anyone wishing to start planting their seed is encouraged to do so as we support the work of God. And remember, a seed not sown is a seed not grown. So we thank you for your generous giving and your continued support to Victory World Impact Ministries. Prayer is an engine room at any church, and we must pray without ceasing. Our intercessory prayer ministry team meet every Monday at 7.30 p.m. Our team is committed and passionately love the Lord. So please send your prayer requests through email or Facebook Messenger. No matter what you are facing, we would love to stand with you in prayer for God's provision in your life. And we invite you with open arms to join our service at 7 p.m. this evening in worshiping and God's word. On Wednesdays, the 13th at 7.30 p.m., on a Friday, January the 15th at 7.30 p.m. is our evangelistic service. Now, Jesus came to bring complete victory, not partial victory. So when we fast and pray, we are not standing alone. We are standing with God for complete victory. So one week fast and prayer starts Sunday, January 24th to January 31st. In gathering service will be held via Zoom on Wednesdays and Fridays. 
and from the pastor's desk. We have a winning congregation. Now winning is a state of mind to do better at what we do. The action we take that defies the things we want to pursue. Winning is not to impress, but to keep the inward spirit alive. Do good, achieve success, do whatever it takes to thrive. Congratulations, winning doesn't always mean being first. Winning means doing better than the first effort. And 1 John 5, verses 4 to 5 declare, And for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Have a blessed and a wonderful week from Reverend Dr. William Lee. Amen. Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce you one more time. Hallelujah. And now, let us put our hands together as Elder Ishmael ministered to us in song. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Never fails me all my days. 
of the Lord. Can you say amen this morning? What a wonderful presence of the Lord in the house. Let me just take the moment to acknowledge our friends and loved ones uh, in Europe, in Asia, in Africa, in Australia, in New Zealand, in South America, North America, and also Caribbean. And I would like also to acknowledge our members of this great prophetic ministry, a victory Impact ministry. You are not here today because we understand of the restriction, but we know you're home. You're connected live with us this morning. God, which you bless you. Praise the Lord. Today is a wonderful day. Amen. We're alive and we're well. The Lord is still with us. Can you say amen? It's a beautiful day. Praise God. Uh, and so, uh, Pastor Jen, we thank God for her as she was MC this morning. And as she went through the announcement, she also made mention of our 20 years of ministry. Praise God. Uh, in another month and a half, we'll be celebrating 20 years of ministry right here in Toronto. As a matter of fact, I, you know, I have been a pastor for 21 years now. But prior to that, I was an evangelist for 10 years. So I've been in the, in the pulpit for 31 years, going on to 32 years. I've been faithful to the Lord. Amen. I'm still standing. Praise God. I love the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for praying for us. Now, Pastor Jen made, gave a challenge. Praise God. You know, uh, for anniversary seed offering. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so she mentioned that we believe in the Lord. Hallelujah. That 20 of us, and there are over 300 members, and so many friends and loved ones, locally and overseas. Believe in God. Amen. For at least 20 of us to sow $5,000. Amen. And as you know, your pastor always step out to, to lead the flock. So Pastor Jen and I, we made a commitment. We'll be the first one to sow $25,000 in our 20th anniversary as a seed offering. And then she went on. She said 20, uh, 200, amen, 20 for 2,000, and 200 for 200. But there are many more of us. Amen, than what you just mentioned. Praise God. So if the Lord speaks to you and you have more than 5,000, this is a prophetic ministry. It's a good ground. Just bless the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord as the Lord bless you. Can you say amen? That means if the Lord give you a, a bless you with 100,000 and more and you want to bless the church, because all of this money, by the way, will be going towards our building fund. Praise God. Amen. The next move from here, we're going to be having a much larger building. We'll be having our, our school, Christian school, a gymnasium. Praise God. We're moving to another level. Amen. And so all the funds that are coming in will be going towards our building fund. Amen. May God bless you as you join force with us in building the kingdom of God. Amen. So thank you. Praise God. Again, I'm about to step out of the pulpit. We have a great woman of God that have the word for all of us today. Hallelujah. And it's none other than Pastor Sharon Folks Abraham. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to invite you to the podium. Praise God. Amen. Sit tight. Fast your seatbelt. Amen. The Lord has a word for us. Praise God. And I can't wait to get my share. Amen. So I'm going to ask you all to, to put your hand together. Even where you are at home, just put your hand together and welcome the one of God, Pastor Sharon Folks Abraham, as she comes to the podium this morning. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. Celebration. Hallelujah. 
us. If we are living through from 2020, many have passed away. But if God kept you, it's for a purpose. Hallelujah. It's for his purpose. For his reason. Hallelujah. And so we are living by the grace of God. Not for our own accomplishments or for our own will. But for the will of God. from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and I will heal their land. So God is depending on us in 2021. And so I've entitled this message 2020 Forth in twenty. 
We're coming through difficulties and God is going to get the glory out of everything that we pass through. Hallelujah. Secondly is the Logos word. Hallelujah. This is the eternal word of God established in heaven and which reveals the mind of the Father. The very source of life and vision and purpose for all mankind. God is Yahweh, I am that I am. Hallelujah. He has no beginning, he has no end. Hallelujah. He's omnipotent, omniscient. Hallelujah. He knows everything. And he's established the foundations of the earth. Hallelujah. And he's in charge of this earth. No coronavirus. Nothing on this earth can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. No tribulation, no trouble can separate us from God who is the Logos, the eternal God, Elohim. Hallelujah. Psalm 33 states, for the word of the Lord is right. Yeah. Hallelujah. And all his works are done yeah. in truth. He loveth the righteous and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness yeah. of God. You heard Brother Ishmael just singing, I will sing of the goodness of God for as long as I live. Yeah. Hallelujah. Because he's worthy. Because he didn't ask you, hallelujah, to help him build this work. He didn't ask you if you wanted to come here. He didn't ask you anything. He built it all for his goodness and his love for us. And so he deserves the glory. He deserves our praise. But more than that, he deserves our service. Many speak of him, but do not serve him. Many believe in him, but do not serve him. This year, God is saying in 2021, I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not have any strange gods before me. If God be God, then serve him. Why halt ye between two opinions? If God be God. Then serve him. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them, by the breath, hallelujah, the roar, the breath of God that breathes life into everything. Hallelujah. His Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That he has sent upon the earth and remains with us as the comforter. Hallelujah. As the counselor. Hallelujah, to give us the word day by day. The rhema word is the next word, hallelujah. The rhema word of God which proceeds, hallelujah, out of the counsel of God. The prophetic word is spoken word to us in our time. It addresses by faith specific persons, situations are revealed by the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. In this season, he will remind us of every prophetic word he has given to us in recent times. Hallelujah. Bring up all those prophetic words that God has spoken about you in the past that you still have not seen fulfilled, but God has spoken it. Hallelujah. And it must be performed. The rhema word is the now word, the living word. Hallelujah. Prophetic word that comes out of the Logos to answer every specific situation. We can only get this word by being close to him, by following him, by living with him, by walking with him. He will speak a word, hallelujah, in due season. Faith comes by hearing, hallelujah, Romans 10 verse 17. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Number four is the law word of God. God has laws. He has decrees. He has statutes. He has principles by which we must live. He has given judicial values in our social life in our civic life, in our family life. And God is saying, live by my decrees. Live by my word. Live by my principle. 
is a very great song. You know, in my younger days, I used to just skip over Psalm 119 because so long. And I say, oh God, this psalm is, I just, you know, moved to a, a much shorter psalm. But God is saying in these days, we have to meditate upon his word. Psalm 119, blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with all their heart. They do no wrong, but follow his ways. You have laid down precepts that are to be fully obeyed. Oh, that my ways were steadfast in obeying your decrees, that I would not be put to shame. Hallelujah. If we follow him, we'll never be put to shame. If we follow his decrees, we'll never be in problems. Hallelujah. That the enemy has set traps for us. And because we do not Wisdom for 
trying to do. Because the wisdom of God will teach you what to say and what not to say. You know, death and life is in the power of the tongue. And they say if a fish ever opened his mouth, he would never get caught. Sometimes it just too much. Saying things you shouldn't say and get yourself in trouble. You know, you have the right to be silent. Exercise it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. In many situations, it's going to assist you. Yeah. Don't speak before you think. God gave us a mind to think. Consult with the Lord before you answer. Yes. You know, a soft answer, turn it away, wrath. Right. Don't respond in like manner. And you will have your way. Because God will make you available to others. When you show wisdom, they will want to be in your company. Great people will call upon you. Doesn't matter what position you have in that company. When you have wisdom, they'll call upon you. Hallelujah. Many in the Bible, Joseph, Daniel, hallelujah, were in positions even in prison, in cisterns. And God raised them up to be kings and prime ministers and, and, and people in authority. God is saying, use your wisdom. Hallelujah. The precepts of God will bring you into a large place. Will bring you into company that you would not have been able to rise. Hallelujah. But because of the wisdom that is in you, God will promote you. Then there is the fulfilled word of God. Hallelujah. Which is number six. This is the manifestation of the promises given to us all, which we will celebrate when they come to pass. They come to pass in the fullness of time as determined by the Father when everything is aligned to his will and we're ready to receive it. Yeah. If it comes and we're not ready, we'll be judged by it. Yeah. Jeremiah 1 verse 12 says, Then the Lord said to me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Yeah. God watches over his word to perform it in your life. God watches over the word that he has given you to make sure that it comes to pass. Not one word that comes out or proceeds from his mouth is void, shall return void unto him. Hallelujah. But will accomplish that which he sent it to perform. Hallelujah. He says, I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. I am watching over my word to perform it. Yeah. Ezekiel 12, verses 21 to 28 says, There will be no delay. We must call for those words without delay. Say, God, those words you said you would hasten to perform, let them not delay. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. What is this proverb you had in the land of Israel? The days go by and every vision comes to nothing. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you feel that way. Hallelujah. Like God has given a promise. But where is the fulfillment yeah. of that vision? Yeah. Hallelujah. When God says, I want to encourage you today. This is what the sovereign Lord says. I am going to put an and they will no longer quote it in Israel. Say to them, the days are near when every vision will be fulfilled. For there will be no more false visions or flattering divinations among the people of Israel. But I, the Lord, will speak what I will, and it shall be fulfilled without delay. For in your days, hallelujah, I will fulfill whatever I says, declares the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, the Israelites are saying the vision he sees is for many years from now. And he prophesies about the distant future. This is 
is what the sovereign Lord says. None of my words will be delayed any longer. Right. Whatever I say will be fulfilled, declares the sovereign Lord. Every word that God has prophesied to you yes. will be fulfilled. Yes. Watch and see that God performs his word to you. Because God is not a man that he should lie. And he says, I have exalted my word above my name. And he says that because his name is powerful. His name unlocks every key to the kingdom. His name is his authority. And when you use his name, you use his authority. But even above his name, he says this is word. Teach. 
teach you what to say. But Moses said, pardon your servant, Lord. Please send someone else. Then the Lord's anger burned against Moses. Do not say to the Lord, Lord, I am not able. Because God says, I have given you the ability and I will cause you to be successful. I will cause you to ride over the waves. God says it and he will do it. I will help both of you to speak, he says. He will speak to the people for you, that's Aaron, and it will be as if your mouth, it were your mouth, and if you were God to him. But take the staff in your hand so you can perform the signs with it. It's not about us. It's about the word of the Lord. God is going to do what he says. He's going to fulfill every promise to you. Hallelujah. And so God has enabled us to be more than conquerors. Amen. Hallelujah. And God says to the false prophets, because remember, there is true prophecy and there is false prophecy. And God says to the false prophets, repent. Jeremiah 23, verse 25, I've heard what the people say who prophesy lies in my name. They say, I had a dream, I had a dream. How long will this continue in the hearts of these lying prophets who prophesy delusions of their own minds? They think the dreams they tell one another will make my people forget my name. Hallelujah. Just as their ancestors forgot my name through Baal worship. Let the prophet who has a dream recall the dream, but let the one who has my word speak it faithfully. For what has straw to do with grain, declares the Lord, is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, like a hammer that breaks a rock in pieces. Therefore, declares the Lord, I am against the prophets who steal from one another words supposedly from me. Yes, declares the Lord, I am against the prophets who wag their own tongues and yet declare, the Lord declares. Indeed, I am against those who prophesy prophesy false dreams and visions, declares the Lord. They tell them and lead my people astray with their reckless lies. Yet I did not send or appoint them. They do not benefit these people in the least. God is saying to the false prophets out there, he will judge. Repent. Repent of every lying prophecy. Hallelujah, that confused the people and caused the people to go astray. God says, I will judge. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, you're a God who goes by fire. Hallelujah. You go before us in a cloud of fire and burn up all of your enemies. And so God, we say, burn. Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Repent for the day of the Lord is at hand. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ephesians 6, 10 to 12. The arm of God finally be strong in the Lord and in his might and power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Hallelujah. For your struggle is not against flesh and blood but against rulers. Hallelujah against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then, with a belt of truth buckled around your waist, and with a breastplate of righteousness, and with the feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, take up the shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. How do we win in 2021? I just laid the foundation of the seven types of the word of God. How do we win? How do we apply them in our lives? Hallelujah. We apply them through the living word who is Jesus who came to destroy the work of the enemy. 1 John 3 verse 8 says, For this purpose the Son of Man was manifested that he may destroy the work of the devil. Hallelujah. And Jesus said to them in Matthew 15, sorry, Matthew 12, 25 to 30, if Satan drives out Satan, he's divided against himself. How can his kingdom stand? Every kingdom that is divided against itself will be ruined. Hallelujah. But if it is by the Spirit of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come yeah. upon you. Hallelujah. We have the power to drive out the enemy. Power to drive out demons. Power to drive out the works of darkness based on the word of God. God has given us the power over the enemy. Hallelujah. Jesus. And he says, whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. So God says, if you are not with him, you are against him. Stop sitting on the fence. Get hot. Get with God. We cannot sit on the fence. If we sit on the fence, we'll be burnt up with the enemy. God says it's time to get off the fence and to get in the word of God. It's time to get in the fire of God. It is time to quench the fiery darts of the enemy with his word. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. He came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. The thief does not come but to steal, to kill and destroy, which is the work of the enemy. Coronavirus is the work of the enemy. He comes to kill, to steal and to destroy. But God says, I come that ye might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. God comes so that he can destroy the works of the enemy. But he's depending on us, his church. And he says, strengthen those feeble knees. He said to us like he said to Moses, what is in your hand? We have the word of God. overcome and to quench every fiery dart of the enemy, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We must meditate on the written word of God. When we meditate, we receive the rhema word, which is the word for now, which is the word that tells you, go and apply for this job, which is the word that tells you, open this account which is the word that tells you, go and pick up that um, document, which is the word that tells you, stay away from that place, which is the word that guides you day by day. God wants to give us full restoration for 2021. The real word for 2021 to the church is restoration, reset. to sanctify a, a fast and call a solemn assembly. So he says, I'm going to restore you. But he says, call a fast. In other words, it is not automatic. You must do something to receive this restoration. You must do something. I remember I was looking for a job. I sent out all of my resumes. 
days. This was before I, I even qualified as a lawyer. I set out all my resumes. I was in law school. And I sat at home waiting. I remember my uncle came to me and says, what are you doing? I said, I'm waiting. He says, ain't no job coming to you. You got to go and get it. Hallelujah. You know, the places I applied to, I walked down there, the first place. Hallelujah. They had a, a job right at that place. They said they got so many applications, but I was the first one to step in. So they said, you have the job. As I stepped in, they gave me the job. Because it was a time of recession. Nobody was hiring any one job. Thousand people apply. So you got to go out with that rhema word and get yours. God says you want to restore your job if you've lost.
get with him. I remove far from you the northern army, and I'll drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face towards the east and his hind apart toward the utmost sea. And his stink shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up, because he hath done great things. So God is saying, he's going to reverse and turn the enemy away from us. Hallelujah. We do not run from the enemy. Never run from your enemies. Your enemy must turn their backs and run from you. Because we have the word, we have the spirit, and we must live righteously. We must live according to the commands and the words of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. And the floor shall be full of wheat and vats shall overflow with wine and oil. The former rain and the latter rain will be our portion. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palm worm, my great honor which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall what we need. Nobody, the devil cannot laugh at us. No one, no relative, nobody can laugh at us because you believe in God, they will have to bow Amen. to his name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Receive restoration. Reset and recover all. Restoration is the act of restoring or the condition of being restored. It's to bring back to the former position, reinstatement, restitution, replacing something that is missing. God says he's going to replace what you're missing. God is going to replace what has been taken from you. God is going to replace what you've lost. God says he's going to recover. God told me, recover. He gave me the word recover, the process of being well again. So if you're sick, God says, you shall recover. You shall recover. Whatever it is that you've lost, you're going to make full recovery. Hallelujah. Speedy recovery. Hallelujah. Become normal again after problems. And he also spoke and says, the economy shall recover. If we speak these things, you know what we're speaking? We're speaking what we hear on the news. We're repeating it. The economy is down. Things are bad. Jobs are down. Speak, the economy shall recover in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to the economy. The economy shall recover in the mighty name of Jesus.
setting us up for a comeback. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is through fasting and prayer. Let me tell you, you're not going to get it by being lazy. We get nothing when we're lazy. We need to get up and pray. We need to get up and fast. We need to get up and press. We need to get up and move. We need to get up and testify of his goodness. Hallelujah. When the rhema word is combined with the logos word, we have dynamite. God's dunamis power. Hallelujah. We cannot just say we believe and do not keep his word. John 14. If ye love me, keep my commandments. Hallelujah. You know, faith without works is dead. Hallelujah. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them is he that loves me. And he that loved me shall be loved of my father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Don't you want God to manifest to you? Love him. Keep his words. And his father, he says, and my father will love him. And will come to him and make an abode with him. Thank you. That means he'll live with us, in us. We need to live by the word of God. We need to seek God. If my people who are called by my name, hallelujah, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 4, verse 29. But if, if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. If you seek him with your whole heart and your whole soul. evermore. Isaiah 55 verse 6, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Hallelujah. Hosea 10 verse 12, sow to yourselves righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground for it is time to seek the Lord till he comes and rain righteousness upon you. Luke 10, 11, 10, for everyone that asks receives, and he that seeketh find, and him that knocketh, it shall be open. Hallelujah. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continuously. Seek the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked even my enemies and my foes came up to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. God, who shall account against me? My heart shall not fear. The war should break against me. In this I will be confident. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Yes, yes. For in the day of trouble, he will hide me in his pavilion. In his secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. And now shall my head be lifted above mine enemies. Round about me, therefore I will offer his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. When you said, seek ye my face, my heart said to thee, thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hallelujah. Or when my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take Teach me thy way, O Lord, and lead yes. me in a plain path. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. 
Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, Ecclesiastes, which is the whole duty of man. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Hallelujah. So we thank you today, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for a complete reset. We thank you for complete restoration. We thank you that this year we are crossing over Almighty God from deficit, Almighty God, to overflow. Hallelujah. From minus, oh God, into plus. From the red, Almighty God, into the black. Almighty God, we shall never be ashamed. We thank you for total restoration for our church, for our families, for our nations. Almighty God, for you are restored. You are the God of the word. Hallelujah. You are the word. And we thank you, God, that your word have we kept in our hearts that we might not sin against you. We thank you, almighty God, that the word will preserve us. The word will strengthen us. The word will, the word will build us. The word will deliver us. The word will accomplish everything that it sets out to accomplish. Yeah. And Almighty God, we shall never be ashamed. Oh, Your people will rise yeah. in 2021. Yeah. And at the end of the year, we'll say 2020, W-O-N! We have won in 2020 because you have won the victory. Yeah. And we thank you, Almighty God, for winning the victory. We ask Sister Sandra to come and sing. We have won the victory in 2021. We are winners. God says you are a winner. Hallelujah. Not a loser. You are going over, not under. You are above, not beneath.
Trust me, says the Lord. Trust me. I will do it. Yes. I will do it. Don't give up. Don't give up. Some of you are on the brink of giving up.
Lord of your life. Lord. I invite you oh. to receive him today as your personal Savior, that you may walk in victory. Repeat after me. Dear Lord, I repent of my sin. I turn my back on Satan and all of his works. And I receive you today as my Lord and Savior. Lord. I will walk with you. I will follow you. I will serve you until I die. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. May I have this irrevocable promise to God. Yes. And you will receive life eternal. Yes. Not only life eternal, but blessings in this life. Because he came to give you life and to give you that.
early today, so we're going home to rest. But we're coming back. Someone say, I'm coming back. Amen. Amen. For more. Praise God. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Powerful word, Pastor Sharon. Thank you for just being obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Receive the word. Receive the word. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let God's word be fulfilling our lives. Amen. 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 I say, let the word of the Lord be fulfilled in the land. Amen. I call to his word. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Amen. Now let us all stand as I pronounce the priest and blessing this morning. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord, the Lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious upon you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you all and grant you his peace. Go with God as he goes with you in Jesus' name. Well, I went to the enemy's camp and I 